Hello and welcome to another Does to Hue tutorial video. In this video we'll be covering how we can transfer metahuman animations onto Genesis 9 figures including facial animations. Now before we get started I do want to mention that this workflow slash feature whatever you want to call it is still experimental. That's for a couple of reasons. Um, firstly it hasn't been tested by anyone other than myself as far as I'm aware. Secondly it's still a work in progress. The workflow broadly involves mapping all of the metahumans facial shapes onto Genesis 9. Now they aren't exactly a one-for-one -one match um, but they are pretty close in a lot of areas. I would say metahumans has uh, quite a few extra shapes that Genesis 9 doesn't however those don't seem to be critical for getting um, convincing facial animations across. Likewise Genesis 9 has one or two that metahumans don't have as well. Now I haven't mapped all of them, I've mapped probably about 80% of them um, and I do want to come back and map the rest if I can. So just bear that in mind as we're going through this video that um, you know, I'm hoping the end result will improve as I continue to map and tweak some of the facial shapes. And the final reason it's still considered experimental is that I don't have access to an iPhone so I've only ever had the two MetaHuman animations to test with and those are the two that come with the MetaHuman demo project. Um, I did put a call out uh, to see if anyone would be willing to share any MetaHuman animations that they've recorded on an iPhone uh, with me but um, so far I haven't had anyone take me up on that. Uh, so as I say I've only ever tested it with, with two animations. Um, there's no reason why it wouldn't work with other animations but like I say I've never tested it. Okay so with that out of the way let's just quickly go over what we have in the scene here. I have this Genesis 9 figure and I have a level sequence which I've added her to. So we can see her control rig and her face controls in the scene and the face controls are working. So this will be our starting point for this video. Now if you aren't sure how we get to this point, I did a video a couple of days back where I went through step by step how to reach this point with uh, Dastyhu 1.0 and I'll leave a link in the description to that video so you can catch up. Now the other starting point is these metahuman animations. So they are animation sequences. So if I open up this facial animation it will probably look familiar if you've ever seen Epic's uh, metahuman promo videos. As I say, this is the animation that comes with the demo project for MetaHumans. This is obviously still running on a MetaHuman skeleton. Uh, and I also have the corresponding body animation that goes with that. Also still running on a MetaHuman. So the starting point for this workflow is an animation sequence. So however you are recording your MetaHuman animations, with your iPhone or whatever, um, the end result that we need to start from is an animation sequence of the facial capture. Um, MetaHumans obviously have their head and body separate, whereas the default does to hue workflow uh, has the uh, entire figure geometry as a single piece. Now it is possible with does to hue to split the head and body, but it's not something I wanted to um, make a requirement for this workflow. So. Uh, we'll be covering how we can combine these two animations onto a single Genesis 9 skeleton so that we have both the body performance and the face capture running at the same time on a single animation sequence. So we'll start with the body first uh, and that's pretty straightforward. That's just your stock standard um, IK retargeting in Unreal Engine. So if I right click the body animation, I'll come up to retarget animation asset select this option, duplicate and retarget. Does to hue 1.0, the complete version includes this um, IKT meta to, G, to G9. Uh, so that's the one we'll be using. That will retarget metahuman body animations onto our Genesis 9, in this case, um, archetype skeleton. I'll give it a suffix of G9 and I'm going to put it into my characters animations folder. We'll hit the retarget button. That's now done. So if we open that up, 
we can see that same body animation now running on our Genesis 9 archetype skeleton. If you want to preview that on our actual character, we can come up to here and change it. So that part's working, so we'll save that. I'm just going to rename it so I know what it is. I know that's the body animation for my Angela character. So now we're going to look at the facial animation. Now this doesn't involve retargeting because the two skeletons, the metahuman face skeleton and Genesis 9 skeleton don't really match. Metahumans obviously have way more bones in their face than Genesis 9. Luckily though, we don't need those bones for this to work. So the first thing I'm going to do is just duplicate this, just so I always have that original to go back to if I need to. So I'm going to duplicate it. And I'm going to work on this duplicate copy for now. So I'll rename it while I'm here. That'll be Angela Face. Now, if we open it up, you can see it's still very much running on MetaHuman's face skeleton. So what we need to do basically is rename all of these control curves. These are the curves that control all of the facial animations. Now, I gave these curves different names in Does to Hue because I didn't like the naming convention. Had I stuck to the MetaHuman naming convention, it probably would have been a bit easier to, uh, to build, but I'm a bit OCD when it comes to that sort of thing. But luckily, does to Hue 1.0, the complete version, uh, includes an animation data modifier that will rename all of these curves for us. So that's what we're going to run now. So if I come up to Window, Animation Data Modifiers, under the Add Modifier drop down, I want to select this option ADM MHADTH G9 Face. It's very much a mouthful. Sorry about that. Um, so we're going to select that one, and then we're going to apply all modifiers. And when I do, we should see these names change. This can take a little bit to complete. Okay, so that's finished, and we can see now the control curve names have been updated uh, to match the uh, Does to Hue naming convention. We can close this window now. now. Obviously, it's still at this point running on a metahuman skeleton. And because we've renamed the curves, we're no longer getting any facial animation, but that's easily fixed. So I'll save that and close it. And I'm going to move it into my characters animations folder. And instead of retargeting, what we're simply going to do is right click on it and then replace skeleton. And we're going to replace it with our Genesis 9 archetype skeleton. Now if I open it up, it's now running on the Genesis 9 skeleton. It's showing the proxy geometry, so we're not seeing any facial animations, but if I change it to our character, you can see now we are getting facial animations. We'll save that. We can close that now. Now the final step is to combine these two uh, so that we have a single animation sequence of both the body and the face. So to do that, I'll duplicate the body and I'll call this one complete. I'll open that up. Um, I'm going to delete this um, head control switch curve. It, it's not actually needed. Um, for Genesis 9 figures, so I'll just get rid of that. Same time, I'm going to open up our facial animation. And then what we want to basically do is copy all of these curves onto our other complete animation. At some point in future, I'll probably come up with a way to automatically um, combine these two without having to manually copy and paste, but it is very easy. 
to do manually. So what we'll do is we'll select the top most curve. We'll scroll right down to the bottom, select the uh, hold down shift on the keyboard and select the last curve. So we have all the curves selected now. I'll right click and copy. And I'll go to our complete animation. Make sure we're on frame zero. Now, unfortunately, you can't just right click these curves and paste. You actually have to have one curve in there already for it to work. Um, so we can just add a dummy one for now. We'll just hit the curves drop down, add curve, pick the first one in the list. It really doesn't matter. Now we can right click this curve and paste. And that will bring in all of our curves from our facial animation. Now also combined with our body animation. So again, if I change the preview skeleton, uh, preview mesh to our character, we can see we now have both the body and the face animations at the same time. I'll save that. And that is basically it in a nutshell. Um, but as one final thing, I'll jump into our level sequence. And I'm going to delete the control rig for now. And I'm going to make sure I'm on frame zero and under animations. I can now select our complete animation. And what I'll also do is add an audio track. And under audio, I'm going to select the female sample audio that corresponds with that original metahuman animation. Now, if I hit play, we should get our complete body and face animation along with the audio that goes with it. I am a metahuman, the next generation of digital human powered by Unreal Engine. So that's working pretty nicely. Um, as I said at the start, this is still a work in progress. Um, I think I will be able to improve the end result um, a bit by mapping the remaining curves that I haven't mapped yet uh, and possibly adding a few other controls to tweak things like the jaws, rest, open position. Because um, obviously, if your character's face shapes and the lips and jaw line and all that are uh, very different to the um, target Genesis 9 figure. Um, it might not look as convincing. Um, for example, when the jaw should be closed or the lips should be together, you might be, have yours slightly open if the character's lip volume is very different. Um, I think with a few sort of tweaker controls to correct for that, you should be able to end up with a pretty good result. Um, as one final step, we'll look at how we can now turn this animation sequence, um, how we can get that back onto our control rig. So if I right click at the top here, I can bake to control rig, and then we'll select Genesis 9. And we can just create, we'll leave all those options as is and just hit create. Now we shouldn't need that animation track anymore. It's all been back to our control rig. And I'll just go and show the face controls as well. If I hit playback again, oops. Because we have a keyframe on this show facial controls, it's um, not persisting. So what I'll do is just delete those keyframes. In order to see those, controls as we're playing. I also need to come to this option, playback options, untick game view. And that will mean that the controls will stay visible on the screen as it's playing. So if I play now, we can see the face board I am a meta updating. Human, the next generation of digital human powered by Unreal Engine. Metahumans are high fidelity digital characters created by you, the user. And, you know, at this point, you could then start to tweak the animations to suit your needs. So I'm going to leave it there, and I hope you found this useful. Uh, I'm very keen to see the end result of different animations being applied with this workflow. So if you do have access to an iPhone and you do want to experiment with this workflow, uh, 
please share your results on the Jazzy Hue Discord server. Um, like I say, I'll be very interested to see how they turn out. Um, also looking for feedback on ways we can improve this overall workflow. But for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.